<laughs> Welcome to the ULI podcast, the podcast where I'm right and everybody else is wrong. Never that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Brian. It's Chris. Maury. And we back again, another week, ready to kick that shit, each with our topics, each ready to get called out if need be, and man up. All right, we got the same. Yeah, he already, you know, we got the same mm-hmm. punishments ready. We got the one shot, the 20 push-ups, and the $10 cash app. You really feeling froggy, you feel me? Mm. We've been feeling froggy a lot lately. We have. The last ones got good. They got, <laughs> they got real good. Shoot, let's hop in. Let's hop in. Let's, get, let's kick it. Let's kick um, it. Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, accused of uh, sexual misconduct or something like that. I don't, I don't, I want to get the right terminology, but I don't know. And I believe it's basically he's uh, accused of rape. <laughs> she specifically said he vaginally raped her. Now, listening to the story, worse. I was like, you know, anybody can come to you with a story after the fact and whatever. And I was like, so that's questionable, but he has other. Yeah. I heard, yeah, I heard it was like multiple people. Multiple. Now, is it is it possible? I mean, I guess anything's possible. Is it possible that all these women contacted each other and said, "Hey, do you want to tell everybody that Cuba Gooding possible. raped us?" I don't, I don't, I don't really. That that just that just sounds very far fetched. Like, what what did he do to these six women that all of them had to get together? Like, I would, do they even know each other I would, like I'd that? Be, I'd be with you more on that on on him specifically. Like, he's been that kind of out as a weirdo in the last few years. No, no, no. I, I don't know if you really seen the Cuba headlines. I bo- I he was bo- a straight weirdo. Yeah, he is a weirdo, so I mean, he might just have raped him. Yeah. <laughs> like, normal people don't do that shit. Normal people don't do that stuff, but that, that and, and it begs kind of what I wanted to talk about, too, to that 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 culture, that celebrity culture, mm-hmm. where, you know, you kind of want to say entitlement to it, but it kind of feels like they have a, or they believe they have some kind of privilege to a person's yeah. body that a normal citizen just doesn't have, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Now I don't I don't care if that I don't know if that comes from America's idol worship, you know, where they feel now that they kind of are above the law, uh, the law, uh, even even just the norms. They 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 above like normal interactions. With I people. think that that was more of a thing of the past, and now there's worship, but there's also uh, backlash because of everybody being able to know now. You know, yeah. everybody being able to hear. Yeah, what's going on? Getting the information out to people is what I think has draw, driven a lot of this kind of conversation. Because uh, like 50 years ago, you know, like or uh, how how however long Bill Cosby was in his prime, I'm sure when a girl comes up and tells somebody, "Hey, he he drugged and raped me," somebody like shut the fuck up. Yeah, his stuff happened in the 80s. I don't care. Right? Yeah, like somebody probably told them, "I don't care what he did to you. You don't matter. Get the fuck out of here." I'm sure yeah, that happened yeah. every single time. Now I'm gonna tie that back <laughs> into the Meg comment when you what you said, Meg. Uh, uh, black women having to, what'd you say, uh, be quiet to protect other people. Now, I don't know if Bill Cosby was smashing just black broads. But, no, I'm pretty sure I, it was I, more than black me women. Me too. I, yeah. think, I think it was probably I think primarily a, white women, but... I don't I don't doubt that that's a thing for black women, but I think that's a thing for, for women, women all over the world. Yeah. It's not yeah. just black women keeping quiet. That's a, that's a woman thing, too. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I would agree. So, I mean, and then, but from that comes the movement, and, you know, I think everybody... Uh, deserves their voice to be heard, right? Like, I don't think mm-hmm. anybody should be assaulted sexually or harassed or definitely raped. But then there's also the double side of that Me Too mm-hmm. movement where I can weaponize. Yeah. Because we've also, we have also seen women weaponize they, they, they femininity. You feel well, me? I mean, like, what did you say when I brought up the, the Cuba Gooding thing? What was your initial reaction, Maury? Hey, man, shit. I mean, what I say, I can't remember what I said. Actually, what I say, I, what do you feel? I mean, this is what every I think this is what everybody considers initially. And you said something like, you know, uh, women can make up anything to, to yeah. get somebody big in trouble. That's mm-hmm. true. And, and if enough true. people, what you say, enough people uh, corroborate. Uh, that's the Aziz thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anything was made up, but she basically me tooed him before everybody had the facts, and everything fell off for Aziz before the whole story even came out. Yeah, the, the whole story comes at that moment. The whole story crazy. comes out, and at very at the very least, it was just a bad sexual interaction. But he didn't assault anybody. He just yeah, the girl yeah. just felt disrespected. Yeah, and was mad about it and told somebody, and he got me too. He just got me too. Like you know, like, like that's some that's some. Uh, bullshit really yeah. it yeah. really is like hey you know we we didn't have a good interaction but i didn't assault you mm-hmm. like i did nothing with without your consent you got upset at me now, and then told everybody about it and i lost everything on that point so you think that a got trip. a little bit to do with his uh entitlement from what i understand it was like they were set up on a date and he thought it was going well she didn't it wasn't really vocalized that she did i don't know if pursue. they were set up on a date because from what i read that she they ran into each other in a in like a social event and 
Like they were, it was like a photography thing. It was like something that they both had a common interest in. And she kind of kept, you know, trying to, to engage him. And he finally, like, he must've just misread the cues, you know, when he finally paid attention to her. And I think that's what the point boiled down For him, to. it was probably just a pussy alert, you yeah. know? Like, like oh, her, she's finna give it up. A, she's trying to, she's trying, she's a fan of Aziz and, and she's, she's trying, trying to get his attention move. or whatever. And he's like, I think there was just some mis, uh, some, some misunderstanding in the middle of that. Uh, Trevor Noah, uh, he gave a perfect example of what somebody should do when bitches is acting all confused in the middle of it. You know, as men, I think that uh, uh, we, you know, in the middle of it have a hard time, you know, because you kind of have to read the cues. And he was just like, I guess a girl was just like said, like, you know, just basically made it like unclear, like she felt like she was unsure. And he was like, all right. And he was like, all right, you got to go. <laughs> and like, she was like, wait, wait, wait. he was like, no, no, you just said, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. nope, you got to go. And that's uh, the safe bet. <laughs> that's, what, yeah, that's what we should all do, because that's the backlash that women should be receiving is, OK, you don't want to play the game. You don't get to play the game. You don't get to act all, the, uh, you know, uh, pursued and everything mm -hmm. like that. You got to be just yeah. as straightforward as we are. If you're not, get the fuck out. That's how it's just gonna have to be now. Equality. <laughs> <laughs> Equality. Have them sign a waiver before they get in your hotel room, man. Really? Hey, sign really? this paper right here, bitch, because I don't trust what the fuck. You might say some dumb shit after we get done, man. And I and it's not even true. And, and that's, that, up, man. Now now that's the stuff, up. man. How can you count on crazy? You can't count on crazy. You guys could have had a perfectly fine interaction at the end of it, and then you know she mm -hmm. wants a little bit more, and you'd be like, hey, this just was what it was. Sorry. Yeah. That's all I want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. And then afterwards, you know, two weeks later, a story kicks out and you'd be like, Well, wow, shouldn't have messed with that girl. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm sure that's happened a significant amount of times. Oh, yeah. And there's no way to prove it. There's no way to prove it one way or the other. And uh that's that's the real point. It's just like after these, if you don't as a as a woman come out immediately, there's that is you know, the repercussion to that is that that well the repercussion used to be that it's less uh what's believable. the word believable whatever the word is but is that is that fair though it's not that because it's, it's not, not that it's not fair it's just the trauma of it too it's just that after it happens there's just a time i mean the longer the time uh, what's, goes what's by the, the less like, evidence the less evidence you can really gather you know what I mean? I mean but so, if you know who did it, I mean, you know who did it, no matter when. Yeah, but it's passed. the same thing with, like, uh, like with murder. There is a time limit there, you know? If you let, it, I think it's any yeah, crime. I don't if think there is let, no statute of limitations If you let too much murder. time go by, you can go ahead and make that allegation and everything. But it's just, I think that. I don't think there's a statute of limitations on murder. No. I'm no. not saying that, but I'm saying that it's going to be that in, it makes that investigation that much more difficult, difficult. if you yes. don't. And the thing with the, the problem with difficulty is that it makes the makes it more unsure. It just makes it more unsure. But not, if you catch not it, implausible, though. If like you, not unable to. to I'm not saying that it's not implausible, okay. but you're taking you've taken by being afraid to come forward, which I don't blame anybody for. OK, taking, that's what I wanted to hear. You're taking away the ability for somebody to get a better uh, the the law to get a better grasp on the situation, mm -hmm. and then the, then you're depending on public backlash, which is what what has been happening in the last couple of years. Yeah, I, I want to leave. I mean, I, I don't. I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, it, it would be best and ideal if everyone, when it yeah. happened, were able to. Yeah, it's not their what fault happened. that they didn't come forward. <laughs> yeah, but it is. Layered. But it is a tough thing where it's just like, yeah, you you did feel felt powerless, but I think it's always been the model that hey, if something happens to you, you have to come forward. And yeah. people have been saying that this whole time, like mm. uh, on, you know, on our side of it, like you, you have to come forward and you got to say something, you need to say it ASAP, mm -hmm. you know, even with all the shame and whatever that you feel. Just also say it's situation. easier said, that's easier said than done. Easier said sense. than done, easier said than done. But if you want justice, that's what you're going you to get. You have to if be able you, to make, you gotta make a move, man. Yeah, you got to um, make a move. If you don't care about justice, you'll throw out the allegations a year later and just hope something sticks. Or and even if you on don't a personal about, tip, you gotta you gotta want to fight you know, for yourself on on that on, on that. And I can even, get that being hard. But even in the ain't fear, nobody else really because I know do I, that for you. I know. Uh, I think the problem is that those. Uh, we're getting real deep into this now. I mean, but, it's real. <laughs> well, the problem is that the people that get preyed on are. I mean, that's the the nature of predators. They pick. They know who people. they're picking, right? They yes. pick these people. These are the people that are going to be less likely yes. to say something. Or you, if you've made them into that kind of person, or if you've uh, taken oh, that Did we back. say grooming? Yeah. No. <laughs> grooming. <laughs> um, grooming does happen. I mean, grooming does happen <laughs> for those situations. It was, a, it was a bad joke. Uh, you, <laughs> it was, you don't even know the context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Sherman's going to love that. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, man, I just that whole thing. Uh, I man, thought I had you lie on you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I brought you up. Were, yeah, you worded it. You worded it well. Uh, you, oh, you know, that's right, man. We I went. We got through. The, then we'll get through this whole I thing gonna, without I you. I was gonna lie. call one on you, man, about that statute of limitations, but you. Yeah, you I was. I don't know anything about the statute of limitations. I would not have accepted that. Yeah, you fixed the wording <laughs> on it. You was like, "Well, I'm not saying that." <laughs> well, I'm not blaming you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll step back then. Yeah, I don't. I know that the science is right on what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, you know, that's that's it for that one, pretty much. I mean, I happy, which is. A very, very similar field. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen what happened with Trey Songs and some random snow bunny that he met at the club. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if y'all seen that. Uh, I, I read it just briefly uh, a couple minutes ago. Uh, so apparently one night he was at the club. Uh, he was in VIP. He had, you know, four or five girls around him having a good time, buying drinks. They was all ready to go to. He was going to do a little after party and get him some food and go hang out. According to him, uh, they got in the car. Uh, you know, he's they got music on and he's dancing and whatever with, with the chicks and one of the girls in the back takes out her phone and records him. You know, he sees her and tells her, you know, put your phone away. That's an invasion of my privacy. Uh, and, and I'm not going to allow that in the after party. She you know, refuses as she it's her right to keep her phone and all that stuff. So she asks her to go. She refuses to go. Uh, it escalates. And then the other girls are like, hey, just go. She don't want you here. Why would you want to stay if you don't want you here? And, you know, she still pursues. And so she had he has security get her out and he thought that was the end of it and now she has uh sexual assault charges filed against him Crazy. got lawyers involved okay is there a, okay is there a other side to that story uh, uh yeah she's on she's on I I'd say, twitter or first Instagram, of all that was his my, side. my first yes. impression on that story is completely Pre believable completely <laughs> believable I, completely I, it's not a little pr doesn't yeah. want them problems that's not but PR. I, yeah. that's like not wanting them problems uh definitely I, I, I if think, i was famous yeah. i'd have the same a similar uh I don't think he was just being responsible. I think he was protecting NDAs, himself. Bro. Self, but protecting yourself in the midst of a situation, people do that. You know? So I think right. that's believable. So I want to hear the other side of the story. That's all I want to hear. I just want to hear the other story. I click you, back. you couldn't find it? No, I had it. I just hit back. So there you go. Yeah, he, he did everything right in that situation to not get caught up. If right. that's true, yes, if I would say, true. and I'd say that's believable. That's not hard to believe that somebody pulls out a camera to record you, and you'd be like, man, t yeah, turn that shit off. Thing. Yeah. yeah, turn that shit off. That's that's completely believable. All right, so uh, she she said she woke up this morning to herself trending, whoever the bride is. I don't even know the bride. Uh, she said she, it was April 6th mm -hmm. when Trey Songz forced me to do something and threw my phone off the balcony and refused to let me and a younger girl go. Hmm. And I'm used to being treated like shit. That's part one. Okay. Uh, so with being okay. fucking scared of knowing what you're capable of, and living three floors down, plus just being beaten up by a uh, beaten, sorry, not beaten up, beaten by Tory Lanez. I'm like stuck. Hmm. I didn't think you were a changed man since you had your son, and I still am proud. And I don't see how apologizing to you for taking this to social media is a bad thing. Just because I'm saying sorry to you doesn't mean what happened isn't correct, especially when I had a rape kit done. There's multiple cases against you. Want to address that or just my friend? Ooh, what's his name? She got him up against the ropes, bro. Uh, Celine Powell is her at name on Instagram. She wow. says she got a rape kit against you. No, she says she had a rape kit done. So she had a. Had, why would you have one done? Why, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was. She can, uh, oh, so did she did it so she could say she had one done? <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking at her wording. Okay. She also said you, there's multiple right. cases you're against right. you. You gotta watch this stuff, man. So she brought up her friend. What do you think? She said she was scared. That's she brought in that, another yeah. person. Those are just trigger words. The word yeah, scared, like that's she was a trigger word. Okay. And she put scared in all caps. That's a that's a social media. You just want some money, man. God damn. Uh, all it okay. is, man. Okay, that might be true. Uh, what do you guys think? From taking from both of those stories, what's your, uh, what's there's, your there's a little what's more. Your, what's your mesh up, uh, Maury? Give, give a mesh up. Take those two hold stories. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold one, on, hold one on. little more caveat because okay. he, he went to post uh, screenshots of his of text message thread with her. Okay. All right. So uh, she she sent him you gay for blocking me, mm. and then she said stop sending me them weak videos. I ain't got time for it. Mm. And. Uh, uh, you don't even say I, you a weirdo. And mm -hmm. she's then a few more videos, photos she's sending. I'm in LA, babe. Uh, I'm in LA. You gonna let me eat your ass? Nope. Uh, where you at? That's what he asked. She said the four seasons. So who asked I'm the eating ass question? She uh, she said let me eat your ass. She okay, said, okay. She told that's a trade song. So gave, she... gave her address for the four seasons. Uh, dropped the pen for him. Said text me again. Mm -hmm. Asked where he, she was. She sent more videos. Asked to be unblocked again. 
She thirsty. She asked to be unblocked again. And then she said, uh, and she crazy. Told her, said, <laughs> she said she said to go catch a told her to catch an Uber. And she asked for the Addy, but she's on her period, so she can only suck dick. <laughs> oh. And he stopped responding. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. You know, uh, somebody who was trying to get real technical would say that. Oh, somebody who was trying to get real technical would say that that has nothing to do with the two stories that they told. Like that's just true. Uh, I, that's was, just I just wanted to highlight the thirst. <laughs> court room yeah, going. Court that, would that, bad. that would look really bad. But thirst that's there. true. That's true. She I mean, offered to eat the butt and suck his dick. Nigga, after calling him a weirdo, or he called her a weirdo. After, she she called him a, a lame for blocking him. And then all of a sudden hit him up like I'm in L.A., babe. Yeah, <laughs> bitch, don't tell me she you don't eat my ass, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? So now, more, go ahead, go ahead. Now yeah, please, 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 please. Yeah, yes, this bitch is she tripping, bro? Hey, nah, don't <laughs> my phone saying you gonna eat my ass. Hold on, bitch. What what is it? What what, what we got going on, man? That's that's out. That's an out entanglement. Bro. That's <laughs> out, man. So I think she cloud chasing, bro. She just wants some money from Trey Songs. Mm -hmm. That's all. She uh, she she just wants some money, bro. That's all. That's all that is to me. Now, is this enough information to invalidate what she's saying, though? Like, what if she did get raped? I mean, shit. Okay, she, she got the rape, right? the rape kit. Okay, where's that? She had a rape kit. Okay, where's that? Yeah, what what was the results, right? Yeah, what's the results? I need some dates, times, all this shit. Man. I, I, I automatically assume when she said the word rape kit that she had one against him. But, you know, that's, a, that's, that's the thing. That's it, why right? she put it out there like that. But exactly. that's not what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know. And also, I mean, uh, to, uh, was it you who pointed? I mean, you know, Troy, Trey Song's story is a little too clean. Just a little yeah, too it's clean a little for Trey Song. You know, yeah. uh, I, I would think that I would think that it's mostly true, but that you know their their interaction was not one where it is like, get the hither bitch. It did not happen that way. It didn't happen that way. He might have tossed him if she was recording him. She might have tossed his phone. Case is public record. I can't really put it on. I'll try to. I'll put it in the video. Uh, she says, read it in weed, but it doesn't really say a whole lot. I'm sorry. I like to point this shit out. Can you go back to that? Uh, Which one? Read it in weep. She spelled weep, W-E-A-P. This bitch <laughs> lost all my confidence. No, she says she don't lie. <laughs> police, police, and lawyer, police can be involved. Lawyers can be involved, uh, but the case could still be. I think be she's texting. She's doing this bullshit. drunk. I didn't lie about it. No. Yeah, with the, eight, right. with the H in there. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nope. Yeah, it has a case number. It was back in uh, 2019. You know, but nothing has come of it since. I mean, uh, any any girl who's mad can go and file a, a case nothing. against anybody, any man that they were mad at. Any mm -hmm. anybody that they're mad yeah. at, maybe a woman too. Mm -hmm. But you know, men don't normally do that. We don't we yeah. don't normally go and file a case against a girl after we got mad at them. And we just, we actually we probably usually just be like, leave me alone. It's probably very humiliating <laughs> for her. leave me alone for, for Trey Songs. No, for her. For her. That's why she holding on. If it was time. humiliating, or it will be humiliating if nothing comes out of it. But she's getting this is probably the most exciting time of her life. Uh, shame. Yeah. Now, now, if I say, uh, I hate to play the blame game, but can does Trey Songs kind of set him up for this kind of stuff with the image he has? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, having your image, yeah, people will consider that you might have done this thing. Yeah. Not any rapper. rapper. Not. I don't think I, everybody. A rapper with a certain image, right? Like, I wouldn't expect this from like J Cole. Okay, so what if what if uh, what if allegations came up against baby? What if allegations came up against Drake? Like, like I wouldn't expect like, it. You Drake. wouldn't expect it. So, like, twelve allegations pop up from Drake, the bit like the biggest, Drake, Drake, biggest he, rapper on the planet, probably. Just, he, is a he is a thirst nigga, though. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and like the way even like he goes after the broads, like he's a little more uh, corny, a little more beggy. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess. <laughs> like, it would be hard to believe. But not saying totally impossible. Not that. Yeah, he's the type of dude that would chase. He would get bored of. But I, I don't think all women fall for the for that. Like, uh, I won't say her name, but I had a friend in high school, Brian. Brian, you know her. Uh, but we, she, you know, when she went off to school and she got into a good circle and she was like, hanging out with celebrities and whatnot, and she mm -hmm. like had the chance to meet. Uh, Trey Songs and Trey Songs invited her back to the room, like, mm -hmm. and and no uh, mixed words or anything, like, like, 
come get it kind of stuff. And she was, mm -hmm. was like so turned off, she said. She said she never felt more disrespected. Uh, she didn't care who he was. Like, we knew who Trey Songz was. Trey Songz been out since we was in school. Like, yeah. I, like, any, dude, any dude could have told you, like, you didn't know. Like, <laughs> she told me the story, I was like, you know who went in there. Really? <laughs> yeah, just because anybody could have told you. I was just like, you know, <laughs> girls, I mean, he's famous. Why wouldn't you? Like, that was my thinking at the time. And I was like, oh, wait, wait, Chase really Whoa. ain't just out yeah. here falling for okie doke like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I mean, some, I mean, yeah, good, for good for her. Good, good for her, her for just not being interested in that bullshit. Yeah. Like, you know, you, yeah. you don't got to be a thirsty bitch that just want to suck a rich person's dick. You but really that don't. comes, like, him coming with that territory, just thinking that I'm me. I this mean, she get me that. Well, I mean, it, uh, how, why would you do that unless it's constantly work? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. exactly. The proof is in the pudding, it. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, mm. yeah, he got. He, I'm sure he does that everywhere he goes. Every concert <laughs> he's going to, city show. Simple gonna truth is, is when you got a reputation, some gonna say no. Some gonna say yes. Yeah. And you playing a numbers game. You feel That's me? it. <laughs> when you got a That's reputation it. for drowning in pussy, you take that risk. Yeah. Really. And when you don't got a reputation for drowning in pussy, and then you drowning in pussy, you really take that risk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nobody knew Bill Cosby no was fucking like that. Mm -hmm. Let me let me put it on on Maury since you're the singer one. Say say you blow up. Say say you famous. Mm -hmm. You using that platform? I mean, you can. Right now, you, right now, off, off the strength of what you're doing in your life right now, you can probably get the, the bras like A little bit, yeah, a little bit. But, but specifically, that celebrity thing is, would, would you use that superpower? Yes. Uh, you know what? I probably yes. would. I would probably. Yeah, I would probably, I would probably come on, man. <laughs> you wouldn't even have to probably, use it. That's the problem. Like, you, use Maury, it. Maury sitting in his room and like three fine bitches come knocking on your door and saying, we don't want nothing from you. We just want to suck your dick. Maury's like, come on in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the that's hustle. Normal. They won't suck that is the hustle. They that's the hustle. They that's the trap. They chain when you go to sleep. Oh, they take the trap. through your yeah. pockets like Debo. And in a year, you think, <laughs> why aren't these three bitches in this room sucking my dick? What's wrong with you? Come on, let's go. <laughs> that's how they do it. Yeah, <laughs> now you warped your mentality. So now, now you're approaching the barista at mm -hmm. the Starbucks going to school. You feel me? And and you thinking that game gonna, gonna relate oh, the same man. way. And they offend it. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some, there's some legs out there that's, that won't. Shame on you, Maury, in this hypothetical situation. Shame again, on you. Don't come to my spot at in the in the wee hours and spend nothing. Oh, to happen. oh no, 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 no. That's yeah. that says a lot. I mean, you shouldn't. Yeah, but uh, you okay. showed up to somebody's house at two in the morning. Your whole story is suspect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, ain't, we, we, ain't, we ain't get no coffee. Yeah, that's <laughs> damn sure. I would say if you if if you ain't if you ain't with somebody before you on like with somebody like yeah. Good and bad, kind of with somebody. Like then, ride the wave, bro. Ride the wave. <laughs> they ain't, they ain't fuck you. <laughs> they ain't with you for real. Ride the yeah, wave, but yeah. I, I think there's a uh, just a clear like stay away from them crazy bitches, and they are detectable. Like you'd be like, hmm, yeah, yeah there's something different about you. I'm yeah. good, thank you. And do like do Solid. like Trey Songz did in his PR. You know, yeah. no no cameras. Mm -hmm. You know, no cameras. Sign this non disclosure. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Phones need, in the Ziploc baggie. You know. <laughs> I you need your hand around party. this lady. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to, don't get in. <laughs> <laughs> that's why if you say no, I got five other ones that's going to say yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. And there's a line. Do you not yeah. see it? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't yeah, care. Do, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a good precaution. You know, that, that means you can't play with that legal line. I drew it right here. You stepped over it, and we got documentation. That's how clear we have to be. Yeah. That's true. That's, how, that's did true. And did y'all see the common stuff? That's a, just brief, briefly here. Did y'all mm -hmm. see a Jaguar uh, right chick saying that uh, they they was an item or whatever, and then one night uh, he woke up and he was putting this thing in her mouth. <laughs> That's crazy. Hmm. I heard about it a little bit about. So, it. Little wait, bit wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I need, I need. I guess I need more context. Okay. So did he just randomly decide to put his dick in somebody's mouth? From my understanding, they were a, they were a thing. They okay. were sexually involved already. Okay. And she woke up. I'm assuming after a night of. You know, me on, also. <laughs> and he he wanted a little bit more love in it and stuck. His What's the line on that? Because <laughs> I'm kind of feel any man would be like, all you got to do is tell me 
don't put your dick in my mouth while I'm sleeping. Yeah, uh, but I don't, <laughs> I, like, like, really, I don't, I really, uh, Especially I don't, if I did some okay. freaky stuff to you before, like, a little yeah. bit of, in the yeah, mouth. Wait, 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 wait. We all, we all got to establish something here because I think this needs to be, like, I wouldn't be so bold. Not even now. Not in, not even in my marriage. Me either. So... Maury, not even in my Maury, side. Maury, Maury, like is she still sleep? Y'all just got done. You want to go again? Do you feel entitled to going ahead and uh, without asking? No. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm doing it without asking. Without asking. Without asking. Are she still yeah. with the mouth open? And we already <laughs> gonna slide in. Huh? <laughs> we already doing our thing. We've been doing our thing for a cool minute. That should not be a surprise to you. At all. No, that was your first time doing it. Man. Well, here's the thing. I think the fact that you guys. <sighs> This is, oh, oh my God, this is terrible to be like saying this stuff because this is how, how men really feel though. Like y'all just got done fucking. You got a problem with me trying to put my dick in your mouth. I mean, you can tell me stop and I will. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing. But don't make, like, that don't make you a predator though. It or, don't make you a predator. Bad. You'd be like, oh, yeah. I misjudged the situation. I thought this was going to be a kinky thing right here, yeah, but it wasn't yeah. and you didn't like it. I'm sorry. You don't got to go and fucking me too a dude for trying something on you without asking immediately. Yeah. Like that stuff happens. And let's be real. Women don't want you to fucking ask every fucking time. Like they see it don't. As, as a weakness, actually. Like, I don't want yeah. to go ahead and I mean, ask permission to come get it. You no, know? Like, no. You got to come get it sometimes. No, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, would even, Boy, no. I would even say that most of the time the pursuit has a lot to do with what you don't say. You have to go off of all kind of unsaid yeah. uh, you body know, cues, cues and content. Yeah, yeah. Body, body language. You, know, you mm -hmm. have to go, like, you got to go for a touch. You can't just be like, do you want me to fuck you? That can ruin that, the mood. Uh, no, 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 yeah. word. I mean, no word. should be like, what? No more is that. Like, what? like, well, that's what people say now. Can we have relations? Can we have relations? <laughs> <laughs> have to schedule yeah. it out and can stuff. You come like, home with me. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you gotta make that move, man. See, I think that's the matter of a person. Like, he, he probably should have vetted her a little more. Like, Erica Badu, who you, I think he was with after her, who? probably would have been all with it. Trace Longs? Ooh. Uh, Common, Common, oh, Common and Jaguar, Common, yeah, Jaguar, right? I, I got lost. Yeah, so okay. she, Common went with Erica Badu. I think after year, years after that stuff had happened. But uh, Erica Badu, you think she has an issue? Bro, I sold her pussy as a scent and an incense. I think that's just female empowerment. Mm, I don't think, I don't think she got an issue with it, bro. No. She's an overtly sexual being. Yeah. I don't think she's overtly sexual. Erica Badu, overtly. Over? Is this a you a lie? Can we talk? I don't even know how we can. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like this is a week you a lie. We gonna have to come with the sauce. We got. I think it's gonna come a little bit later. Everything we talking about now, I honestly feel like we all fall on and kind of in the same. Yeah. Because yeah. there is a right and a wrong, and, and these agree. are three dudes that do respect. You know, uh, the comments a little great. You know. The common, I mean, but that's just with Common's reputation. We don't know what common, how Common get down. But I mean, you know, like uh, I would say that that chicken, uh, like, come on, man, that was a bad call. Bro. That's a bad call. Just a bad call. But what that's if y'all did some super freaky stuff the night, but like hours before? And then you're know, just like, oh yeah, she's like, gonna, that, she she's gonna, gonna love this. this. Yeah, it's come on now, yeah. 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 She, she just snorted it. cocaine off me. I she know she did. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would. I would have to like. I mean, if I was a judge, I'd be like, okay, we need to, like, we need to break this down. Uh, let's let, like, I, I wouldn't give out. You can't just straight up call that rape. You can't. You can't just straight up it's, call it's such that a rape. You personal incident. Can't. You can't unless she was just like, no, no, stop. And he was like, bitch. No, no. What? <laughs> no, no. Oh, I, I, we don't know if that's what happened. Yeah, for real. Trachea. <laughs> like, really. Like, uh, like, unless that's what happened, uh, there needs to be much more. Uh, at most, said. he made and you uncomfortable. If it's, at, if it's at her word, there needs to be some kind of, uh, they need to come down to an understanding. Uh, at, like, at that point, maybe it's just something personal between them. I would, that's, what, that's what I gathered from it, is that maybe she was salty about how things ended, or maybe mm -hmm. something that's happening. Because he with Tiffany Haddish now, and Tiffany Haddish giving him glory reviews. So maybe she was like, well, it was with me, and he was... You know, yeah. Well, I mean, you would. Like, <laughs> yeah, she would probably be like, "Yeah, he woke me up. My his dick was in my mouth." I was like, "Whoo!" Like she'd probably say something like that. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't think, I don't think that he, what he did was. It was a little across. It's the tiniest, it's a bit. It's the tiniest bit across the line. 
you know, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. I would know just on the simple fact that I, I might just be, just get reprimanded. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. You know, like that's probably the first thing that, that a woman would say when you're just trying to, you know, throw, throw her while she's sleeping. <laughs> 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 Your mouth was open. I just, I just, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. There is a little bit of decency there. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think we've exhausted this, but yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, we, we I think uh, Maury just had a good topic. Like you had yeah. something you wanted to bring up. What was your question? Uh, do we need to hold on? Hold on before you. Do we need to? I guess. I guess. I guess I could take a piss. I look, he got a piss too. All right, man. All right, Maury. Yeah, like he had a phone call. My topic uh, for this show, you a lie. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you a lie. That's a false. You a lie. You, that's two shots, nigga. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Pretty that's, sure you a lie. That's unestablished. Unestablished. Go ahead. Uh, but I was, I was going to talk about since uh, you know y'all two in the, in the relationship and Brian, you married, and I'm over here doing my thug fizzle. Uh, what? <laughs> is, what? <laughs> what is, <laughs> man. What is what is cheating, man? What what, what do y'all think cheating is? I know some what? females got a different perspective on what is cheating. If you look at a girl, oh, you cheating with your mm -hmm. eyes? Oh, you're undressing her with your eyes? You're, if you talk to a girl, oh, you are you cheating on me? I mean, what is cheating in both your eyes and, and why? Bro, let me go first since you were married, man. I wasn't even gonna say anything. <laughs> say. It's very clear, but I mean, it's not clear, but it is clear. So. Uh, uh, so you know, cheating is a, a lot more, uh, I think, uh, thrown around loosely nowadays. But to me, you know, it's it's action to me. Uh, now, there is an emotional connection part of cheating, I think, too. Mm -hmm. There's uh, two. Yeah, there's two types. Yeah, there's there, there, types. there is there is a, a dependency. So, like, if, if my girl was having uh, everyday conversations with a dude, like, hours, like, no actual uh, physical contact, but like the the emotional part of it, like she's the bad day she's unloading on him, the good day she's unloading on him. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to him for I guess got a promotion, I, whatever whatever it is. Like she she can't wait to tell this guy that that's that's cheating to me. Okay, hmm. okay, Brian. But there's also the obvious. We we have a established contract to be physical between us, monogamous, and you going and stepping out and doing it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. that's so what, what, what did she say? Oh, that's that's just my friend. No, I mean we ain't doing nothing. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing physically. I mean, the that's, dependency. Just, that's, just about, that's just an excuse, man. The dependency. You can, <laughs> if you got a better, if you got a better friend that's a female than the woman that you with, ain't, you ain't committed. Yeah. But there, I don't want to be really be like you can't have. No there, there are friend, people right now that would, really watching that that would be like no that's friend. bullshit. My, I got a better female friend than my girl right now, exactly. and mm -hmm. I'll be like, mm, you know, she probably doesn't like that. <laughs> or, 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 or you don't either, either, either like you're using yeah. her for something like I don't know she betters you in certain areas uh, that you wouldn't get elsewhere. Well, but the connection you have with somebody else, I mean, that's important. If you don't got that um, same connection, with and and then there's a, uh, I mean, the that that's that also has to do with your relationship with whoever you're in a relationship with. Cheating has to do with. It. So Maury, let's. I mean, we can establish some ground rules here. I mean. Here's here's the typical relationship. You and a girl meet, y'all fall for each other, you know, how whatever way y'all get into a relationship. And then like you end up, you know, messing around with another girl, or if you didn't mess around with another girl, you just became way too close to another girl. Those are two types of things where a woman may have some claim right there. Where they'll be like, you know what, that's not cool. And you know, because y'all didn't establish beforehand, if that's the way that you were always gonna be, if y'all didn't establish beforehand. You know, that's uh, that's on you. That's on you. And y'all need to then you guys have a whole bunch of knots to untangle. But a lot of people will go into relationships with these understandings. They'll go into these relationships like, hey, uh, you know, I might fuck somebody else. And the other person, I mean, there's always a chance the other person will be like, yeah, that's fine. I, I would I, just to piggyback on it. I think that's a big issue is that mm -hmm. people do go into it and they don't have the same there's assumptions. understanding. Always there's assumptions, assumptions right? Mm -hmm. And I think a guy on most ends will assume that this girl here wants to be monogamous. I need to show her that she's the only one I'm fooling with. Mm -hmm. But my nature, I just fuck these hoes, man. Like, <laughs> I, got, I got to get out here. Yeah, I don't think you think about it when you only care about that girl, you know, in that in that 
in that time that you guys are falling for each other, the kind of person that you are, you don't take it into account until, you know, things start to slow down or you get bored and you start to become, uh, you start to get back into your normal rhythm as a person. Like, what does that involve? Does that involve you messing around with a bunch of girls or does if that's that, your you norm, right? Mean? Like if that's your you're norm, not like if yourself, that's your norm, right? you should know before you go into a relationship that that's gonna cause. A Unless problem. you're super young. Other than that, you're playing with people. So cheating. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. So what about you? Yeah, that, what I would love about? to hear. Like, I don't on. think I don't know about where this came from. I don't know if you got any motivations, but like, what about you? What are your thoughts on cheating? The word cheating, what it means, and I mean, have you ever been in a committed relationship? Like that. That's a. These are good questions. I don't know. I don't know this about. You. You've been uh, with you've Chris been with one, uh, uh, Jennifer. Didn't end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't end well. Most, I think so. The yeah. most realist uh, relationship I've been in, as far as like length, this is like it was like a year and a half. I can't something like that a year. No, a year or something. Yeah. Years well, more than just length too, though. Like, but connection, right? Like connection. Yeah, I actually did love her and shit like that. So I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, cheating. I mean. Uh, we was in Vegas, uh, Chris. Uh, we was in Vegas. I know what, what happens in Vegas. Well, supposed to stay in Vegas, but we was, it, we it never to does. We went, no, it don't. We went to the strip club. <laughs> we went to, I can't remember what Vegas strip it was. We went to the strip club, and I said, Is this because uh, the strippers are all, all you know, dancing on me, so I got a little private uh -huh. dance. And so I said, Is that cheating? And I didn't kiss her, didn't do nothing with her, nothing like that, but she I got a little lap dance from her, so I was like, Is that cheating? And in that case. Yeah, in that case, is that cheating right there? It's not cheating, it's but I think it's not cheating, but there needs to be some honesty there. Like, like, yeah, okay, okay, you go to a strip club right now, you get a lap dance, and you come home, you don't say nothing to Ariel. What is that? Omission. Not there. It is. It, it. It's like a little. It's like a little whiff. Like a, a smell of cheating. You don't even taste cheating. Cheating. The smell. I don't consider that cheating. The smallest smell. You look. I mean, if you didn't, if you couldn't, dishonesty. If, at if most. you couldn't be honest about it, doesn't mean you cheat. If you could tell Ariel, "Hey, I'm going to the club and I'm gonna get a and I'm gonna get a dance," and she wasn't okay with it, y'all got a problem. Y'all need to work that out before you go get a dance. If you go and do that, then I don't know what you call it. You don't. You don't want to call it cheating. You don't want to. But you got definitely gonna fight when you get home. <laughs> Yeah, if I'd be like, yeah, so, I'll strip club. I don't know if you want to call it cheating or like not, it. but she so gonna call not, it. That's she not call cheating. It, that's, but she gonna call it. No, she. I don't think she would. I think I don't think that would be I'm not me saying, not respecting uh, her 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 uh, her comfort, her what she deems is uh, acceptable behavior for her boyfriend. It would man. go into a somewhat. It would go into a somewhat lower tier, but you are fiddling. It's dishonesty you are fiddling at, at with most. That's not. You know, this is the same dishonesty as oh, I. You know, I told you I was going somewhere and I went somewhere else. Not the same dishonesty. You, it is. It's not. It, it is. It's not the same dishonesty. To me, it is. You went and you got, <laughs> ass, you, you got you some other girl no ass, ass jiggling in your face, but you didn't. But I that's mean, not you went. No ass. You can get ass jiggling in your went, face from porn. You making it rain or whatever. But porn, <laughs> there's no personal interaction with porn. Ain't no real interaction with the strip club unless you you big boss money about to pay for some pussy and now and now you prostitute. The interaction like you, is you going and throwing money. The interaction is if you wanted. That's to, not cheating. The interaction is if you wanted to, you could smell that shit. That is, come on, man. Let's that is be not real. cheating. Mm, I think you got uh, that's some that is some technical, technical, technical shit. At the end of the day, you if you don't tell you don't tell your girl about it and y'all can't be honest about it. This equals cheat. There's the whip. So cheating, cheating to you isn't. There are just, levels. There are levels to it. Cheating, there are levels cheating to, to it. you isn't just. Uh, it's not like you went out. And, it's it's repairable. A, a sexual. It's repairable. That's or repairable. Discussable. Let me ask a goddamn question before you cut me off. I'm if you're looking ask. for. Go ahead. <laughs> you're looking for qualifications, and I'm trying not to give you any because there are. Yeah, aren't. but you're respect, go, ahead. Respect go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what please. I was asking, but you, you had to ask anyway. <laughs> I, I didn't listen to the guy. Okay, question. well then you tell me if I didn't address it after this, okay? But the simple truth is, I mean, there are there are level two, there are level two levels to it. Excuse me, it's discussable what you did. You and your girl, like, she'll be like, okay, this isn't too big of a strike. You you can you and Ariel can talk about it, and she can let you know, like, I don't appreciate that at all. Uh, you might be in the doghouse for it. Uh, be real, I, I, you know, you speaking on YouTube. I mean, I don't know specifically. You know what I mean? That's your what relationship. Is, it doesn't matter. Put but, it with you. It doesn't but, matter. Uh, with, oh shit, man! 
Like, um, I don't, I like, uh, in okay, let's just let's go personal with me. In my relationship, would I come home and get in trouble? No, but would there be hurt? Would there? Be, would I know that I truly hurt my wife? Yes, I would know that I truly hurt my wife. And to me, that means that you did something that is, to some small extent, very hard to forgive. And I think that's what cheating is. There we go. That's that was what I needed you to boil down. Okay. So yeah. that's, that's what your, I was oh, saying. That's your definition of cheating. Well, what's breaking... your definition of cheating? Because that's let, a, let, that's let just a betrayal yours. of trust. Yeah, that yeah, breaking the contract. Uh, so it, it could be like uh, if I if you're gonna pay uh, you're gonna pay fifty percent of the bills or seventy five percent of the bills, and you'd be like, you know what? No, I'm only gonna pay fifty. That's Actually, a business agreement. <laughs> that's not a relation. That's not a. That's not a relationship between two people. That's a business agreement. But going to going to the dance club is like an outing type thing. You're not making relationships with these strippers. No. So you're not you, building relationships with these strippers. No. You're I not fucking these hoes. Yeah, but still, this would be equivalent of you going to. Okay. Go hold on. This would be equivalent <laughs> of you going and hanging out with your friend somewhere and your girlfriend not liking it and you coming home and being like, "Hey, I'm going to go hang out with my friend," so she getting upset. I think you feel like you can argue this point. And the simple truth is you would come home and find the fact to be very different from what you're arguing. That's it. That's it. Um, you're talking about a breach of agreement versus a betrayal of trust. Two different things. Two different things. Mm -hmm. Betrayal of trust in any situation you could call cheating. I mean, between two friends, y'all, you betrayed their trust. Like you could say the word cheating, it would imply a sexual relationship. But if it didn't imply a sexual relationship and you betrayed your friend, that's something that's completely different from you guys having some kind of, you know, verbal agreement that's just like word for word. Okay, if I do this, you can't get mad. If I do this, you can't get mad. That's something else completely different from two people trusting each other and one other person betraying that trust. Those are really two separate things. You can't you can't sit here and parse it out with words. You just can't. It's not possible. Okay, you so can, what I'm gonna yeah. say is okay. And the more I want to get your feedback in this after us two just sitting here talking about it. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's it's gonna be on a personal case, case by case. So yeah. if if I'm Absolutely. with a, if I'm with a girl that don't care about me going to the strip club and fine with that, then it doesn't really so it's gonna depend on what each individual but that wouldn't be a betrayal of trust can 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 take. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So if, if if my girl can't take it and it's been established that you know she's uncomfortable with me going to the strip club and then I still decide to go to the strip club. You would call that cheating? Then I would call that cheating. I'm breaking- I'd agree with that. I'm breaking the agreed upon standard of our relationship. Okay. Now, okay. If, if I've been known to go to strip clubs, you've, you've gone to strip club with me or whatever it is, and I'm going to a strip club, mm -hmm. I do not expect you to say anything. Yeah, because you know what I do. Hmm. I would definitely have this discussion before I went. Like, I'd be like, I'm going to a strip strip club. Is that a problem? The behavior has to match. You know, like yeah. for me to go to a strip club right now, I think yeah, she would have be all in her rights to take exception to it. Like, why am I doing that? Right? Like, you guys haven't that's talked about something of, like that. Yeah, right? that's outside of normal behavior for me. Yeah. You know, but mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm in these streets, Mario, no, I'm in these streets. <laughs> that's different. Yeah. That's, that's different. different. So y'all getting into a relationship, and she knows. I'm sure that that. No, if, sure. if knowing you, it would have just came up anyway. Like, I love going to a strip club. I ain't gonna fuck none of these girls. I probably ain't even gonna touch but, them. But I got to see the butt shake. You know? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, that's, that's, different. that's different. But this is talking about, I mean, I think one thing that we agree on is that there has to be foreknowledge from both parties, right? And Before you can claim There has to be cheat. foreknowledge and there has to be acceptance. And the difference yes. is, like, if you guys care about each other, it's not just they're not just going to say, oh, we had this agreement and you broke it and I'm holding you to it. That's not love. No, no, no. no. That's, that's, just, not, yeah. that's not love. Which that's, she, if you, you felt be cheated on, like. this is somebody that really <laughs> betrayed you. Like you were like, oh, I thought this was something else. That's always what and, it is. And betrayal is deeper than just, I didn't like that. You know, betrayal is like value stuff, like code stuff. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you, you switched the code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's your answer. That's, that's our no, you are, no, Not one you alive. I just want to know what y'all think about that. Well, wait, 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 wait. Was you cheating? Yeah, wait, hold no, on. We gotta go ahead. How did your relationship go? Because we did, we showed to interject ourselves. But yeah, go on ahead and put your shit out there. You ain't gotta say no name. I, I, I never wanna hear it. What, what, happened? Happened? what happened? What happened? Y'all together for a while and, or for a year and some time and what happened? It seemed like a long ass time. Oh, she won't it's, be that's a good that's a good chunk of time. No, that's not from that situation though. Did something happen with this, like for this cheating conversation specifically? 
Oh, no, man. I just want to uh, see what y'all thought about the boy. Uh, you, you I didn't assume that. that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't assume that, but I want to know how your relationship turned out. What happened? Oh, with her mom went. She was hardcore Catholic. <clears throat> um, uh, she she wasn't as hardcore as her mom was. So her mom was feeding her a lot of stuff in her head. I need to get it's uh, converted to Catholicism. And, oh, okay. I, I said, okay, yeah. At first, all right, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Then I started reading into it. Nah, you know what? I ain't gonna do that shit. I ain't do. I ain't not. You were oh, so you were thinking about going Catholic just to st- yeah, to so, yeah, just uh, the relationship. Yeah, it, yeah, that's not that's not unheard of. That's not unheard of. That's actually very common. But you, it is mm-hmm. respectable to say, you know what? This is too much of you to ask for me. You sure, you can't. So was. Yeah. That's like, nah, a, man, so yeah, yeah, that's a trip. I mean, that's like that, like myself. I didn't know. Question, I didn't know Catholicism was that hardcore. I didn't know it was that hardcore. I mean, hey, <laughs> since we're talking about it, we can just take this take this moment real quick. We don't got to talk about is religion a strong enough reason now? For still, people, currently, for, yeah, for a lot of people it is. But for y'all, is that a strong enough reason uh, to throw away your whole relationships? No. Um, the the reason would be. You, if you have to, like with Maury, if you tell me that I have to be, yeah, I was this, gonna say it's different with your scenario. We got a problem because that wasn't that wasn't you putting it out there. Yeah. It was it was it was like ultimatum style for you. And who, who responds well to ultimatum? I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you're, not, you're not trying to control me. I mean, let's be real. Even, hmm. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna say it out loud. Okay, so whatever your situation is right now, and let's say we're all single. And a, like you with a girl and like, you just think he's amazing. She's like, yeah, but if you want to be with me, you have to accept our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right now, here and now. And you'd be like, hmm. Can I say know? a red flag? <laughs> that's a big red flag. <laughs> yeah, that's red flag. Same red thing red. with any other religion. I'm just saying that because I think that's something that we all know. So but is, is it impossible for people with two different religions to coexist in no, a loving manner? I don't think so either. Not. Right? Like if your whole, each religion not. should be based in love. So yeah. if you can't find the love in that religion, you can definitely call bullshit on that person. You can yeah. say, you know what? I, I think you missed the point of your entire religion. I try telling her that, man. I try. I try to blame me. I get married in church. We can get married. Duh, duh, duh. And she was not yeah. having it, bro. It was if, either Catholic yeah. or no go. If that can stop her from loving you, then it wasn't no point. Her love, her love was limited. That. Yeah, quite <laughs> limited. Really limited. And I said, cool, man. I'm good. Shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you see this a lot with like the Muslim culture. Yeah. Like, like we'd be watching yeah. that 90 day fiance and it's a real trip. Like a lot of these that is, don't know yeah. what they're signing up for. Um Jewish too, right? Yeah. Jewish yeah. too. Uh I think they have a reputation for that. I think that I think that a lot of religions have that on us. But because these religions come with certain roles for genders and marriages, you know. Yeah. And I think that's what they allude to when they say, Oh, you need to be a Catholic or you need to be a Muslim yeah. is because you need to operate within these. That's what rules. these rules said. Yeah. That's what these rules said. Everybody has to be. And in. they're comfortable with operating within them. Like they don't even, like especially Christianity, like no God before me. Uh, like yeah. the whole idea of just going and reading another religious book, you can get cast out or cast someone as a sinner, you know, and or believing in other gods and all mm-hmm. this kind of stuff. But not having the knowledge of other religions, I think, makes you weaker in your religious in your yeah. religious journey. We've just taken a very deep step. We did, man. We I can talk about this. It. We can, we can, you know what? <laughs> but, but you know what? We can suspend that. I think that where we got right there, <laughs> that. We, we took a, like our ankle went into the water. Let's leave it at the ankle. But that is yeah, I was, was going to go balls deep, deep what deep I just said. Oh, man, no, no, no. That, that is a discussion that could end. we could be here for like an hour and a half <laughs> and not have a treaded, you know, that's an ocean of of a uh, of conversation right now. Game's on right now. Game's Dallas, on right now. Dallas 44, we Clippers 21. Some, some Let me tell you something. I'm a Clippers fan, but I'm rooting for Dallas right now. It's a, it's a bit of a toss-up for him right now. But you, I, I know you don't like Lucas, so this is a – this is oh, a yeah. conversation. Yeah. You need to watch the boy. Is he on right now? You, you should be know? watching the game. I'm sure he yeah, has. It's on, it's on right here. I'm about yeah. to say, yeah. I, yeah, look up. You should Google his stat line right now. As a matter of fact, don't do it. Hold do on. Let's, Let's make it interesting. <laughs> Let's make a you a lie on the over under. <laughs> yeah, we do need one right now. We might need like two hey, or three of them. Hey, I got my shot ready. <laughs> Luka, okay, I bet you a shot. Luca got eight assists. Luca got at least 10 <laughs> points, at least five assists. Okay. Luka at least 10 and five. At least ten points, at least five assists, and at least three rebounds in the okay. second beginning of the second quarter. I'm pulling it up right now, y'all. Go ahead and make oh, it. Oh, you alive for that? He ain't got oh, it. I don't know. Oh, come on, Maury. I really? It. It. Really? Do you believe that? Do you, is he? Call, what's the? Oh, he's calling you alive. He was. So, I'm I put a shot on it. He's under that. He ain't got no ten points, no five assists, no ten, three five, and three. He ain't before, got that. 
before you finish, what you willing to put on it? Shit, put a shot. Yeah, I right? Got a shot right here, don't matter. I mean, put a shot. We can do what we do. It's the shot. Oh, so you don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Uh, Talk to me. Oh, ooh. Talk to me now. Come on. <laughs> Fifteen points. <laughs> okay. Five or six. Okay. Five rebounds. Come on with the shot. Got what? Thirteen <laughs> minutes. Thirteen got, minutes. Luca got what now? That's a bad boy. Go ahead, start again. No, go ahead. Fifteen points. <laughs> five assists. Five rebounds. Come on, right man. Now. Luka got, man. Luka is good. Uh, the okay. next person okay. under him is Marjanovic. No assists. Ten points. Eight hey, rebounds. Think, hey. <laughs> like, uh, can we get a live score? Or so? I don't know. A live score: forty-four thirty-two. Uh, 44, up, 32. uh, Mavericks. Uh, Mavericks. Ooh, man, they uh, let's just, do you I think they you really have what it takes to beat this Clipper team in seven? Yes. They have what it takes, yes. Uh, what? Okay, what is uh, Clippers lacking that makes you good that? It's what they've always... My I mean, defensive not, end is what I'm worried about for that. Here's the thing. The Clippers, they got to be hot, and they got to be uh, they gotta be running hot. Like, they really do. Do they? Yes, they do. They got enough. I got to get a shot in. I see you, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. They got enough ISO. Uh, Give me one of these. Yeah, you ain't. Oh, you I just want to drink. Here, let me get you the one today. I have a feeling I'm not going to lose anything tonight. No, I'm just playing. Uh, but, uh, they got enough ISO ball players that they can get a shot. Like, they don't have to be running, like, in, in full flow of their offense. Like, Kawhi can not... get a shot. George gets a shot. Luke gets a shot. Listen, man, I like this team. I like this team a lot, the Clippers team. But the simple truth is they – they I don't think they have the same ability to consistently just – Overwhelm go, uh, Not even overwhelm because it's like you can't really stop Dallas. You can't stop them. Is that unless, arguable? Unless you get Luka out the game, foul trouble. Yes, so. yes. You take Luka out the game, completely stoppable team. But he's hard to injure. And he's hard to stop. Um, and his pace now, allows him to play. Somebody at a might make a, high end Somebody might play. make a call. Like Kawhi has to be. Kawhi actually, he's. And this is, this is the, the point right here. Kawhi is actually. I, I don't think he even should be as good as he is right now, even offensively. Like he can dribble, continue to dribble the ball and handle the ball. He can get his shots up and all of that stuff. And he does it. He forces all that stuff in. He gets it done. A virtual and, work. And, and, and instead of being – and he's barely an offensive force. And then on the defensive end, he'll pick up rebounds and, and shut people down like no, nobody's business. So that's huge. Except Luka. Except so Luka. Now, I can't stop him. What now? You said Kawhi Leonard's barely an offensive force? Barely an offensive force, yeah. No. He's an offensive force. He's I'm going to pick him. The <laughs> Kawhi gets buckets. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, what you, you hearing one thing, but what I'm saying is he is an offensive force. But here's the line, and Kawhi is right past it. Right past it. And, and, he, and get him, though. Like, he's not, he's not the deep three guy. He's no. not the penetrate every time That's what guy. I'm saying. When I say but barely an offensive force, yeah, I'm saying that he will get his buckets. But he can't make everybody else get theirs. And Lou Williams, Lou Williams might not get it. Montrez might not get it. Lou Paul, might not get it. Lou might. Lou's not gonna get it. Lou's gonna get it. I've, I've seen. <laughs> yeah, Lou's I've, gonna look, get it. Man, Lou's many, gonna get it. Many nights when I expected more from Lou, I got less than I. Expected. And Lou, Lou to be at the strip club, get some chicken, man. <laughs> All I'm telling you is subjectively what I expect. And his wife said he was cheating, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, I was about to say. Really? <laughs> but for real, I, I would say that Lou, Lou Williams, I think, as uh, me watching Clippers games and in big moments, I would say that Lou, even though he has in big moments, yeah, come on now. Not a lot of people I, go I will say that he has definitely come sh- falling short in uh in some important moments too in, in oh games. you say falling short but it- yeah like 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 Who, uh, like he, he would he would spend the last few possessions trying to get a bucket and brick all of them brick all of them i've seen it just, just hear me out I, I don't know if it's his role to fall short it's his role to get yeah, buckets he that that falls short I, i'm stacking that on Kawhi and paul, Kawhi, george. paul george like in yeah. them moments that's who getting your when bucket. you're a six man you you can't take that role away from him. I, I, a little bit I can, man. Like, I, I know you, you need to be able to go to you, and you that's should the whole point. be able to Being get your six bucket. man, that's an unofficial starter. I'm right? counting on Paul George and, Ky- and Kawhi. To I'm get not counting on Paul, on Paul George, and that's my problem. Like, uh, That's where we're going to go. Uh, you say I'm counting on Paul George. I'm not. 
I'm not counting on Paul George to get the bucket. I'm not either. He should get a bucket. He can play no, defense. On Paul George. He can play defense hey, all right. game, but but Paul George knocking down threes when you really really want him to is not happening. Paul George ain't got uh, no defense either. Forty seven thirty four. Wait, what'd you say? Sorry. Paul George ain't got no defense either. He got game one. Game, game uh, one come on. on. By come on. Uh, Devin Booker. That was. <laughs> That was a Lillard. bad defense, though. What that was Dame bad. <laughs> when uh, him last year. Dame sent him home last year. <laughs> okay, but that was a bad shot. That was contested, but also a great shot because he made. We'll it. have two. We have two examples of a really good player shooting over both Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Devin Booker. And who else? Was the coldest shot I ever seen? That was the last one recently. The first, the first person to do it was James Harden. I remember that one. Was it regular season? Mm-hmm. Game winner. Yes, that one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that's just the, the back to the case. The, when the offense is pure, it's pure. I mean, what can you do? All I'm that? saying is that they were both in good position. This is actually it goes to your argument. Yeah, they were in great position. Goes to your that argument. hand was like that. Last podcast is goes to your argument. Yeah, and you is said, that, you gonna give me a shot for that?" <laughs> <laughs> it was a UI, right? Okay, all right. It was a UI. It was a UI. We said the you know, you know, you I'll concede. It don't matter. Yeah, follow yeah. some of this. Shit. Um, it don't matter, but. But I will say, ooh, what the fuck is this? Did I take a shot out of this glass? Uh, I need a different one. Hold no, on. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I ain't bougie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Got a little crust on this glass. But uh, back to my earlier question. I don't. I don't uh, know if Dallas has enough in their tank. You saw when they lost Chris Stapps the other night. They couldn't pull it off when they should have won that game. I think Chris Stapps on the court. They win that game. Did y'all see it? Did y'all see that game the other night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a high school game. I texted y'all. Did you get that uh, group text I sent y'all when mm, I tried to go to Chick-fil-A? No. And I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. And Columbus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Columbus was laughing. He was like, Chris Stubbs got put out. And I was like, oh, they're going to lose this game. Yeah, when he <laughs> left, it was. But they were going to win. They yeah. were going to win. Yeah. They were going to win. Um, And I knew it. I, I just knew it. Um, And what I was just going to say is your point of a <clears> rip, the, an amazing offense does beat a good defense. Because somebody who can somebody who can do what Luca does, which is it's not just shooting and dribbling, it is just exploring all options. When you get in a, explore, in a, in a given play, explore yeah. all options and possibilities in one given offensive play, and you've come, you've you've uh, you've effectively shut down what Kawhi Leonard could do, and that's to basically just uh, you know lock you down and potentially stop a pass. Hey, that's well, about, that's from what, what I was that's saying. What they was having problems do. with that. They could not keep this man out the lane. And I say like he's be- going to be better than James Harden because a lot of that uh, that change the direction that he does is mm. slow. It's but it's quick if you know what I mean. It's like, sudden. It's sudden. Yeah, yeah. It's sudden. It happens so and quickly. It's they not can't... just that because you you plan your moves and you know like okay he knows I'm going to go right he knows I'm slow you know uh, step back step forward, step back to the left. Like he can do this. He'll take these this time. Like James Harden. Like James take very this key. time. Yeah. To do these dribble moves, I'm telling you, man, he's like uh, upgraded James Harden. Like two years from now, everybody gonna be like, he gonna be the face, bro. This is what James should have been doing. What? The league, and he and he doesn't the even league. play. He doesn't even play. Yeah, yeah probably pace of the league, and he doesn't even play defense that well. Right? He does. That's I think that's gonna be the improvement. Of I think what's gonna change is that he's not gonna be an on-ball defender. He's gonna get steals. Um, and he's gonna be maybe a good. We gonna defender. see him in that LeBron defensive role there. LeBron, I mean, a lot of a lot LeBron of do a lot of, a lot of people who floats. can't do a lot of people who Draymond can't do on ball defense are just really good at getting steals. Not They'll saying Draymond can't can man up. People who that's can different. read offense can <laughs> get. Some. That's the, I think Draymond can man up, but right, he also plays that flow. Here we go, and chase it with some deep heading. I don't know more. You been just a rock. You been watching these uh playoff? Oh yeah, I've been watching a little bit of it. I know Dane. I know Lakers, man. They're looking real suspect. Uh, Portland? Lakers? Portland is, man. Suspect. I mean, Wait, no, no, hold on. Who, who looks suspect? You said the Lakers Portland? or Portland? Lakers look suspect. Okay, Lakers. I said the same. Like, what what was your biggest flaw you've seen in them? Oh, man, I don't know what it is, man. They're just not – I don't know what it is. They, Everybody can see it, man. I just don't know what it is. Anybody who's not a Lakers not or LeBron, brand, LeBron <laughs> fan can, can see it. They can see it. They can be like, you know – They can't make a shot. This ain't the team that – that bubble that uh that left on the end of the season. This is yeah, it's a different team. And I'm mad I wasn't watching the regular season because I don't have that that clarity to know. Because to me, mm-hmm. this is the Lakers that I've seen. They were unstoppable. And I know it's a different team. They were unstoppable with a couple during the different season. players. But from what I'm seeing, they don't seem to be jailed like mm-hmm. these other teams. They were a bulldozer. I told Cole that. I told him. Together. I said their chemistry. Is chemistry. Off. They it's don't off. seem like they. I like specifically said the chemistry is off. If you can't immediately just like uh, go from play to play with, per- like y'all not gelling, if you, y'all can't go from play to play. 
uh, from a uh, pass to pass and like it be fluid and it's not fluid. And also on defense, you guys aren't trusting each other, you know, and it's not even a thought of not trusting each the, other. The bodies it's alone body. they have defensively yeah. should be able to thwart what, uh, what Portland wants to do, you know. That, that and whole, LeBron is pretty much flawless. His offense isn't the had a best. great game. You see his yeah. stats? Yeah, yeah triple double, man. He's much yeah. flawless. No, no, no. He had he had one of the only triple doubles ever in NBA history to happen in the playoffs with 2015 and 15. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. player in NBA yeah. history yeah. to do that. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. this is the kind of stuff I talk about when I be like he's the greatest. It's not player. enough though. Like the greatest basketball player. Like he's not, I don't think he's the GOAT. Like, <laughs> like the greatest person to ever step on the court. <laughs> we got into a heated debate. But like <laughs> ability to play basketball, the man got it. Yeah. Now, is he a competitor as to the likes of uh, of Michael Jordan? No. Not even close. Not even uh, to the likes of Kobe? No. Not even close. No. Not even close. No. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's hard to put your thumb on it. But the simple truth is, Something this is this is the this is the problem when you get when you come to LeBron, you can say he did everything right, and his team still lost. So then, what does by that saying mean? That did LeBron then do everything right? Not. Or in that game, in that situation, again, in that up, game, up in that situation, minutes, yes. But it I mean, just up means, six or seven points, seven minutes ago in the fourth, King James needs to win this game. Am if you're not gonna yeah. be the guy that puts the dagger in the heart, then you haven't. Then, then <laughs> either your teammate constructed the way you need to be, or you're not the guy. You not the guy. I mean, Danny Green didn't make a three. That uh, Chris, that seems to have a little, uh, little skit. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, have hilarious a, though. But very accurate. Yeah. Very. I'm they sure they have been pointing out Danny Green. That's that's true. And everything. KCP showed up, didn't but make a shot. You picked this. Danny team, Green man. made like one shot. You Marquise picked this Morris. Team. You picked you this. You ain't team. tired. Get up, nigga. You had one point. It's a flaw that you had to take so long in the season to get this team running to a number one team, and then when the when the you know they shut it off and the engine goes off and you got to warm it up again. You only got eight games. You know, yeah. like you, you really got a really short learning curve when everybody got to start up again. He knew this. I know LeBron knew this. He said that people are going to need to go into training camp. Like he mentioned this. He know, he understands the whole process. He understood that it was going to be troublesome for him mm-hmm. to start this. So the simple truth is with the Lakers, right? Uh, and I think we got to get into the game, right? Oh, it's all the same game, yeah. But, yeah, so we get into point. this. And – it's troublesome for the Lakers when a team like Portland, who has no chemistry problems, I don't think. No, 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 no. chemistry they problems. They all bought in. It's execution all and the way. And they all bought into Dame it's, being they got. It's execution all the way. Their chemistry is there, and Dame is there for them. CJ is there for them. Melo is even there for them. Uh, chemistry, it's chemistry all the way. They're going down the line. All the way, and it's all just execution. If they can make this fall, they're all buying into a plan. And while you could technically say that about the Lakers, I don't think you can say that in practice. Like, you're watching the game, and it's like they're doing all the right moves, and shots are breaking left and right. People are, you know, uh, letting rebounds go. Turnovers are happening and stuff like that. You can't put together a solid streak that puts you in an established winning position. Mm -hmm. That's what a winning team does. What a fighting team does, this is what Portland is. That's a fighting Fighting team. team. Uh, Golden State, winning and fighting team. But Portland's a fighting team. I would put them more in the winning than fighting, but they can't fight. They can get back they in. They were a fighting team first. They can get back in. They were a fighting team first. But they, 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 they can we still – they got an aura of Absolutely. Winning. Absolutely. I'm just saying they were a fighting team first. This is why, they're, yeah, I'm this not, is yeah, why they're a fighting and winning team, and this is what Portland is. They are a fighting team. That has let me won. tell you something. I love fighting teams. So do I disrespect Portland as a whole? No. But am I di- am I disrespecting Damian Lillard, who had some amazing fucking threes? Yeah, yeah let's, so, let's talk about sure let's, let's talk about that. Then. So Lillard. we were saying about amazing LeBron, same spot. I LeBron think he did like four times. Time. LeBron I'm having sorry. to be <laughs> the guy, you know, and bringing your team uh, mm-hmm. to that, that. in that seven minutes. Now we look at Dame. Yeah. So Dame had went scoreless, you know, for that first part of the fourth quarter. We had to rely on CJ to get some buckets for us, and then CJ went a little off. And then, you know, dude missed a couple, a couple threes. He had a turnover. And he had a look in his eye like, we not for who, who's who, okay. Who, uh, Damian uh, Lillard. Damian? He had a look in his eye. A look that you don't see LeBron get. Yeah, that's that's admirable. What? That he don't? It's admirable that he had that look in his eye. No, no, that, that, look, that look means I'm finna come for that ass, which he did. I mean, you can cover three, that ass, but that you, deep three. you know, you gotta come <laughs> on it. With the assist. With the, <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just saying. <laughs> we have, came on it. Came, this time. He came this on time. Okay, But go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I'll, I'll but this, is, this, is, this is what people, and, and Comus is that guy I'm really referring to, mm-hmm. uh, harp on about LeBron not being able to pull that onto this morning. And, and, and I watched a little skip this morning. Mm-hmm. And he was going on about uh, Dane, or not skip, it was Stephen A. Going on about uh, Dane being the best player in the world. Who? Dane oh. Lillard. Well, no, no, no. Who was going on uh, about it? Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith uh, being the best player in the world. I don't really listen to Stephen A. No maybe, more. maybe right now. Came back. He said, he right didn't, now, since the bubble came He didn't back. say that because he believed in yeah. it. He said that because it was going to get him a lot of publicity. Uh, he, he, he hype training. He always does that. But right yeah. now, who's better? Than, than, than Damian Lillard? I mean, what, individually? I don't know. You guys already argued Devin Booker, best player in the bubble. I did. He said that. I said Dane, but Devin is up there. Devin is up there. Yeah. Listen. Devin is really as, up there. Look, 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 look. I'm willing to ride. Dane was probably playing a little bit better. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to ride with you as long as Damien is executing. But here's the problem. Here's just – just the small problem. I didn't like the comment. Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't like him being ordained best player in the world. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I think I think premature. Your yeah, but the thing is that he 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 bites off those moments, no hesitation. But yeah, he gone. might not be able to swallow all of them. Who has not all of them? Who in recent memory ha- has had better clutch moments than Damian Lillard in you know, recent memory? I would say that he's been the he's been when you say the the most clutch. You can't yeah. say that. You can't say the most clutch. You can say moments, most, most clutch moments. moments. Because there's um, there, most clutch, most clutch player maybe also. That's a little. That's but, a little. But but your cl- clutchness is so gamble specific. You can be clutch in this season game that there's nothing on, on the line. line. But and that's you, that's what I mean. Did something amazing. Game is on the line when these moments. That was on the line. That was on the line. These get these last three games of bubble was but on the you line. Can't base that because of his history. Those, those former can't. games in the other playoffs were on the line. So are you gonna let's let's put it this way? Are you all of us making a bet? You gonna bet three more games on Portland and and lose money Ooh. on that? Or Ooh. this is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> money on it. This is Ooh. what I'm saying. Uh, See now, okay, hold on. Let me address it. Let me address it because yeah, yeah, okay. now you you yeah. saying because I did say LeBron, you know. Playing basketball ain't nothing better, mm-hmm. you know. And AD, top-notch talent. Mm-hmm. The pieces around them. They can figure it out. If not up to par, not exercise, not mentally prepared the way Portland has been throughout the bubble. Every game mattered to Portland. That's true. Yeah. At the Lakers clinched a week, two weeks ago. That's a me? strength and a weakness. You know, yeah, yeah. So where where they're in coast mode, Even, Portland uh, both is, of, both is ironed out. Both teams strength and a weakness. When every game is important to you. Now the fatigue teams. is gonna come in, I think, on your point, onto your point for Damian Lillard. That's been his flaw his whole career, right? He got all the way last year to the conference finals, played Golden State, had him in position for I mean, games. You could argue row, that that's lost LeBron's each flaw. Game got swept out of the. You could argue that's LeBron's flaw. He's three for eight in the finals. Fatigue though? Yeah, maybe. I, I, I would say unwillingness to do what needs to be done <laughs> in those moments. I'm a dis- I can't say it's because he's tired. I'm a disagree. I've never looked okay, and seen can LeBron you take, is tired. I, I would say that LeBron is a four-quarter, nonstop, give Freight, me, never, machine, never drop-off player. But, in, but that means that he never gives – almost never gives you those moments of exceeding expectations of LeBron. Because when, his expectations When has so LeBron ever – Exceed, exceeded your expectations and blew your mind. It's always somebody else on the team that does that's, that's 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 not fair to me. He's playing because, Detroit. Is, go ahead. I, I feel like we've been talking about. It. Go ahead, Mark. Detroit in a playoff. I think it was a conference finals or something. Uh, he was still with Cleveland. This nigga had like thirty-one straight buckets. I think okay. it was like forty-two. What? I think I know what you're talking about. I want to see yeah. that. I want to yeah. see that. I I, I lack that. I want to see that. That sounds really good. Man, this dude had like twenty-nine straight points, bro, against Detroit. Okay. Is that and, the one he uh, hit the bank uh, buzzer beater off the backboard? Was this? To, what wow. was this? Game? What were the stakes of this game? Playoff game, but advancing, let me, I believe. Let me see. Let me look it up real quick. I ain't seen it, bro. I ain't seen LeBron play like that ever. I said this nigga is tripping. How long ago was this? Uh, oh, this is like miserable. first first Cleveland thing. Yeah, his first it, he was going he was going bananas, bro. First Cleveland. I mean, you get that from amazing rookies, though. 
You not, not as human. I don't think it was his rookie year. I'm not player. saying that everybody does what he did. That was his rookie year. It was like he was probably like five, six years in. That okay. Hey, I, first playoff round. That, round like in the first, first round, second round. It wasn't even like conference finals. It wasn't even finals. Like it was like first, second round. No, nope. not much pressure. But you have to win. Some pressure. And no, 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 no. There's pressure. Yeah, you have There's to win pressure. it. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is like we talking about like game time shit. Yeah. Is there is there anything in LeBron's career that's no, but like I was saying, I think that's like his expectation has always been so high. So you'd be like, has he exceeded expectation? People came in saying he was the chosen one. People say it came in saying he was the next the next Michael Jordan. His expectation was already so high to exceed that he'd have to win every game. Well, I'm gonna try not to lose this train of thought, but when you're as talented as LeBron James is, and maybe all you do is play it safe. And he that's that's been a, that's I criticize that too. Like that's all you do is play it safe. When so you come and make you, the right play, yeah, it was the right play. But you could have took this six four dude to the honestly, ring and got the layup. Maybe the time, the least time when he played it safe is as a Miami Heat, where you can trust somebody to just let you be the best player you can be. Like, um, uh, is not Miami Heat where like he did that dunk on Jason Terry? Uh, yeah, okay. we like basically jumped over because yeah, yeah. Man, he, he didn't just. Jump. <laughs> I'm sorry, it looked like a train running over like a twig. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. He, he was but, more violent in the news. What I'm saying is that that's what he should have been the whole time. Like, like Shaq, everybody loved watching Shaq because Shaq ran people over. Let me tell you something, LeBron James. I mean, he kind of moderately ran people over his whole career. But you don't get too many situations now, where you like. Can like I can I see. stack their expectations real quick? Okay. So what was I mean? I was I was a young tycoon. I was probably like four. Mm -hmm. So you you probably a few years older. But how was six? How was Shaq's expectation? <laughs> I was in an incredible basketball. <laughs> that was that's six. No, Shaq, oh, you were older than that. Was when, was when Shaq was. ordained as the next? The next basketball, like, I mean, he, um, he was I a think, force. I think we were too young to understand the hype that was surrounding him, but a seven-footer was number one. Seven-footer was uncommon. Number two, somebody that was athletic as him was uncommon. Number three, even to this day, somebody that was as powerful as him and unstoppable as him in that situation was uncommon. And it wasn't a Will Chamberlain situ situation. All right, so look at his career. Did he, I mean, again, we weren't, we, he didn't take care of himself. Our, our timepiece is kind of, Shaking. Did he exceed expectation? No. Under under met. I like, think by he, the way, you said he that. met. Just met, met. Only met. Four time champion, two time MVP. Yeah. I think only met. Two time final MVP. Only met expectations. Um, I think that a lot of people have said if Shaq took care of himself, like Kobe way, specifically. No, let's let's go. Uh, Tim Duncan, take care of yourself. Dude would have dominated. Would ruin Tim Duncan's career. Ruined his career. Would have like met I, him. I would argue his body had a little bit more. Uh, probably a shorter self-destruct timer than Tim's, set similar to Zion. Like, his, I think his body is going to break down. Yeah, we've, yeah. Lost, we've lost the point here, though. Maury says something. Uh, the oh, the, the Detroit game. Oh, yeah, he scored the last 25 points in the Eastern Conference Finals against Detroit. He had, like, 48 that point. Yeah, 48 that game. Okay, I know he's something, something with 40. Well, yeah, we, I we mean, need, I, we need the time stretches, right? The last 25 points, was that in one quarter? The fourth or? quarter. Yeah, That's fourth quarter. quarter. Yeah, it's incredible. Like, it's I, incredible. He I believe everything I believe you said, LeBron. But then I you, believe that of LeBron. You, you have his roster there, by but, chance. Uh, his roster, Ooh, I can look it up. What was that team? Because I guarantee you, it was trash. That's and then that's gonna go back to him not trusting his teammates. So when we get LeBron passing them shots to a Danny Green, to a Kyle Kuzma, he has more trust in these players than that. I don't think it's even sure. trust. I think it's passing off responsibility. I think it's trust. Involved. Danny should not. Danny is a champ now. Yeah. Danny has been a sharp shooter. You should knock these shots down. So you pick people, then you can say you can trust. You pick people that, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, let's see here, Cleveland Brown. You got Shane Brown. Oh man, he I ain't mean, got LeBron James. Oh seven. Okay, yeah, you got Shannon Brown. I like uh, Shannon, but no. Yeah, Daniel Gibson. <laughs> uh, old, old girls. Uh, uh, Keisha Cole, uh, dude. Yeah. Drew Gooden, Larry Hughes. Larry Hughes, all right. Uh, come on, come on, come on Zad, man. <laughs> Zadrunas Ilgowskis. The the Damon white Jones. Meat. White meat. Yeah. yeah, tall white dude. Uh, Damon Jones, Daniel Marshall. So, man, basically he had nobody, man. Garbage, bro. So, garbage. he went into Cleveland with garbage and left Cleveland in the end with garbage. With garbage. 
And he and, got them and did what he did, though. Did yeah. what he did. He had nobody on that team, bro, except Larry Hughes, maybe. Listen, that by itself is its own feat, but it doesn't make you the best that ever did it. I don't think we were arguing that point, so I'm no, going to no. move past <laughs> <the> before, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, the simple fact is, if we comparing him to Dame Lillard, um, let's there be real. Back. Let's be, let's be real. Clutch moments, clutch moments. You can pick so many people before you pick LeBron. A uh, clutch win, uh, and even even in the clutch wins that LeBron had, they weren't his. I was gonna I say there the was most... an interesting stat that said uh, from 2015, him and Devin Booker had the most uh, walk away winning shots with three since 2015. Who buzzer beater shots to win? LeBron James, Devin Booker since 2015. Yeah, but in what situation? I think. It... Well, if Devin Booker's in it, not a playoff situation. Not a playoff situation. <laughs> probably LeBron, too. Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, but, but uh, I mean, like LeBron. Now, you know, it's a credit and a minus to LeBron that, you know, at the end of uh, that's, what is it, the second series? Or the second championship between them and Golden State. Mm-hmm. That Kyle pass Kyrie. it off to Kyrie, Kyrie. your shooting guard. And I was like, we had an argument. But did he even assist that? I think yes, he did. He did. I thought, he I thought, I thought uh, uh, Kyrie okay, walked that up. I, I be- no, I think that it came from LeBron. Mm. Hmm. All right. You are <laughs> 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 oh, 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 is this 2016? 2017? <laughs> Something like that. 2016. <laughs> oh, no. No, I believe that it came from LeBron. Oh. LeBron. I want to say he walked that up. I could be wrong, but I want to say uh, he walked it up. Is it 15, 16? It's 15, 16, not 14, 15. I got one question. So, if LeBron James and the Lakers don't win the chip this year, is that a flack on LeBron's uh, career? Oh, absolutely. Yes. The only thing we want from LeBron is nobody. Yeah, nobody will. <laughs> and even though, sorry, you when you have, away from you have three championships out of eight championships, it just it just exposes your losing record in championships. It just doesn't matter. Sorry. <laughs> I'm about to get mad all over again. This might not be it. Yeah, wasn't it on the other side? It was a three. That's not it. It was a three? Another yeah, that's one? not it. I thought it was a three, right? Yeah, that's not it. I think it was a three that put it down. What, 3.1? Like, this ain't it. We got more. We got more. We got more. Hold on. <laughs> not even on the right side. They were on the other side. This ain't the right game. I think it might be the right game, but just the wrong timing. Mm. They were on the other side. I'm sorry, man. We, we got to break this down, Maury. Were you here for this one? Did you watch this one? Because we was all in my house, right? How many year? What was the year? Yeah, well, this, this had to be, well, the, this was after the Warriors' first championship. So, second second championship. The plot? Is that the, is that the one? So well, Christmas. That's why this is weird. I'm like, on oh, Christmas? No, it's not Christmas. I want finals. Let me find it. Uh... Can I just type in Kyrie's dagger shot against Golden Black State? Black jersey, that looked more. Kyrie was the reason why Cleveland won that shit back. They were the – the reason why they won that, man, yes. Yes. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. <laughs> Full highlights. Let me go here. Irving now with 26. Big time off. Who gave him the ball? Who gave him the ball? All balance, variety, and the spice of life. That's the maker of basketball. At that time. Also the ability to rebound the basketball. Of course, all it's fair. Nobody gave it to him. Yeah, that's Kyrie with the ball. No pass. But we didn't see the whole play. We saw, we saw. We didn't see the whole play. What you mean? We didn't see the whole play. We Ain't no assist happening right here. No, you're Give right. Give me that. No assist. No assist. No assist. All right. Oh, well, I guess I got to take a shot because you established nothing. Man, I didn't say nothing, did I? <laughs> all right, I'll take a shot. I mean, it's a rock. But doesn't doesn't change anyway, yeah. anything that you know he just needed help. Do we discredit yeah. the, do we discredit the defense apl- applied in that? Because this was the game he got the chase down block, right? Nobody has scored like three minutes, the last three minutes of the game. No, 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 no. That was all Kyrie. Was all Kyrie. All Kyrie, all Kyrie. Uh, no, no, no credit to the chase down block. I mean, that's big. I mean that, that was huge. There. It was there. It was it there. Was there. Still had to do it. It was there. You had to chase him down. You yeah. had to cover that ground. He had to elevate. All I'm saying, <laughs> all I'm saying is yes, credit to the defense. Credit to the defense. You did everything. But you somebody did. had to win the game. 
And it was Kyrie. And I'm it was sorry. Kyrie. At that point yeah. in time. And I so nobody, nobody with better handles, nobody with a better killer instinct on point guard position maybe at that time. Give me that. I give you that. Both. Handles. Who had better handles? Steph was nice with the handle at the no, time. Not better, not better than Kyrie. Yeah, not having it. not having it either. Um, even, yeah, I think he's uh, okay. He was nice, though. He was nice. Uh, but, uh, to okay, we got to tie this back in. We'll bring this back to uh, LeBron. To t- present in. day. Uh, LeBron and uh, Damian Lillard. Okay, Damian Lillard, top of the subject, right? Um, Still. I think that you guys have a very high regard for him. I'm going to drop that down one level. Just one. <laughs> I'll say. Just one level. Mine will drop if this if year take it, it's fruitless. If they don't take it? If not, not only, they don't have to win the championship. Fruit, what is fruitless? Fruitless is, one, getting past these uh, Lakers. these Lakers, which is a tough task. I was about to tough say task. A tough task. Tough. But, hey, but awesome, Damian man. Lillard has to get out of the first round. Matter of fact, he has to get back to the conference finals. Let and win it, to be honest with you, to show improvement each year. Each year they got a little further, a little further. Let me a tell you further. something. He get to the conference finals, I'm gonna be impressed. Impressed. Yeah. He yep. gets anywhere past that, I'm gonna be amazed at Portland as an entire organization. <laughs> Just to be real, they got a lot to come over. Let yep. me tell you something, and I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna put this out there because number one, I am definitely on the Luca train. The Mavericks. Are I mean they they make basketball look easy right now. That's dangerous. The Fortress will match up well against them. Though. It's just dangerous to make basketball look that easy. It just is. Like you can you can say whatever you want about their experience. You can say whatever you want about the game. But when you make the game look easy, even if it's just because of one player, your whole team makes the game look easy. Then everybody on the court in that instance is now struggling. Everybody has a problem. Everybody has a problem, and you want to take out the person that's making all that happen so i like dallas because of that i love teams that are doing shit like that and dallas is young and new yeah i like I something dallas is gonna get past yeah. the clippers i've been uh the clippers <laughs> are the, the clippers are liable for getting it together and shutting that shit down yeah but I, don't, I didn't even see the score hold they're, on they're, they're too deep they're, they're, they're too deep what, five i think What's the score right now? Hold on. What's the score 61, right now? It's all right now. Yeah. No, it's half time now. Hold on. I'm about to look it up right now. Clippers, Mavericks. So, Brian, man, since you like the Mavericks so much. 61 56. 61 56 Mavericks. Oh. Go Say ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, how many games is the Mavericks going to win against the Clippers this series, man? If if the if the Mavericks were to win, and I'm not going to put money on this because the Clippers are a lot, they can. They can slowly be the the because you have good defense you can learn the game and slow them down and then upset it i would say that this is going to go six games at, at the least i'll give them six games six games at the least they're going to win it's going to be either they're going to win they're they're either going to win in six games or they're going to lose in six games you think, you think they're going to win who you the mavericks yeah i think they can no 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 Oh, I have to, <laughs> I have to commit. I have to commit. Yeah. I mean, if I yeah. have to commit, we might as well make this interesting. We can cash up this shit. Oh, oh, are you gonna say they gonna? Because I'm on record. Clippers gonna win it. Clippers gonna win it. I'm on record. Man, just you guys saying that makes me want to bet on Dallas. You okay, can, I fine, fine. <laughs> fine. We gonna make a pool, right? This pool is bet after the Mike Tyson pool, but it's gonna happen before. Yeah. <laughs> Are you adding to it now? <laughs> I'm pool. No, I'm going ten dollar. Ten dollar cash app pool. Ten dollar cash app pool. Y'all gotta split it. Mm. I get uh, uh, I get everything. I'll bet on we'll, we'll put it five I will bet each then. on the Mavericks. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not gonna make any qualifiers per se. You can just say they win. Don't even, you ain't gotta play game win. I'm going that, my money's going game. on they win, but here's my official diagnosis. Barring injury and ejection, Mavericks are gonna win. We got to give you both of them caveats? You don't have to give them oh, okay. to them. That was personal. That was personal. <laughs> well, your the, point then, okay. The cold, hard cash bet is, okay, Matt Rick. That's, that's with every team, barring injury and niggas don't no, get hurt. No, 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 no. That's not every team. That's not every team. Yeah. That's, that's every team, team, bro. If they hit, it, it, uh, the commentary. They should win, If they hit on every cylinder, if they make all the shots, they can win. Yeah, nigga, we going to win if they make every shot. I would disagree. <laughs> I would disagree. <laughs> if, if, the Clippers, if there's an injury on the Clippers, not so important. Injury on the Clippers, not so important. Depending who it is, but I can smell you. I can smell you. That's all I'm saying. We, we, it, it's important. Even if who Kawhi goes on, down, it's the Clippers important. should be okay. It's important yeah. who gets injured on the Mavericks. 
Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, not. A, it's little. It's slightly less important who gets injured. Luca goes history, down. So. It's a wrap for the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. All right. Wait. I feel like this is coming to a close. We did. That was a final. This is. We have a lot of preemptives going on. Let's make sure that we have this straight. <laughs> Number one, I believe we I've done lot? this. We have two. Well, this, big, this one to be resolved within two the week. big money <laughs> lies where both of y'all are going with Mike. I'm going with Mike. I'm still. That's a sixty dollar UI. Uh, I'm still going pool. with Mike. Pool. That's a sixty dollar. Yeah, we're gonna call each put in twenty and winner. Yeah, y'all yeah. gonna have to split we'll, it. We'll split it, brother. I got mm. the thirty for you. Oh, y'all gonna have to. Split it. <laughs> <laughs> we all gotta drop twenty in this pool. So. I with that. Uh, and then we have this right here. I'm gonna go ten dollars on a ten dollar. You can do. Pool we can right do a ten dollar. And it, this will be resolved it. earlier, so we'll we'll be able to. This will be resolved, I think, by next week. Oh, I'll, I'm okay with all the future bets. We just we just, just got to make sure we if know. If we make yeah. enough of them, you yeah. know, this that Marshall and <laughs> yeah. we need a box. Okay, yeah. We need a little box. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I will – yes, I think I would have bet it anyway. I would have bet it on dollars. Better team. Just a better team, period. Better and team. Let's ask something because the Clippers yeah. is also the squad. They're excellent. They're excellent. Yeah, that's They're that's excellent. A better team than the Lakers. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the most deep, the most talented team in the NBA right now. The Clippers? Clippers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give you that. Yeah, I, give you that. I mean, all they did was add it. When they got rid of a few people, but they added Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, they, and Paul got, yeah, they got some players over yeah, there. They got like starters coming off the bench with Lou, yeah. uh, Reggie Jackson, Lou, and Harold. Like these dudes can yeah, start. Reggie Jackson's good too. Yeah, he can ball. But if we gonna wrap up, I say we put it on more. Put it on more. Yeah, go ahead, wrap us up, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm on a wrap up, huh? Okay, mm -hmm. well, shit. This has been uh, another episode of You Will Lie. You will lie. You can find some on uh, shoot iTunes, Buzzsprout. Uh, we got an Instagram page yet? Okay. No, we gotta do social media. Yeah, Instagram you know man fell off. It's like nobody has demanded a Facebook group. Nobody's demanded an Instagram page. I think that's what we're waiting for. We're getting, you know, we, we this this is a growing type of thing. It, like people think that when you start something online, that you immediately supposed to blow up. But that's generally not how it works. And no, I think, yeah, I don't think any of us are doing well. Like that, so. But the simple we truth is, the simple truth is that the interaction I think is key. We haven't been getting that. If you listening, hey, interact. Just interact. Like all you got to do is send us something. Send us a comment on YouTube, and uh, we'll be on that. Send us an email. You will at six six one at gmail dot com. Yeah, we'll we're here. Yeah, that. Any, we'll be on that. Y'all yeah. like having yeah. any topics y'all want to discuss? And yeah, definitely put them in the comments. Send them to the email. Yeah, you will like yeah, this one at gmail.com. Yeah, we got to get, yeah, get on it. Yeah, we will get on it. This show is growing. Oh, we on top of it. I mean, you know, dropping a dropping an episode every week except one. But, you know. That's it. You know, try, try to keep yeah. it up. Yeah. Oh, definitely get this on, uh, what was it, iTunes, Google, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, yeah, uh, Stitcher, any of your... Your podcast streaming services uh, are there. Soon to come, uh, uh, Audible and uh, mm -hmm. Amazon. Amazon uh, Music, right? Yes. Well, I guess podcast. But yeah, soon to come. So be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else anybody needs to add? I feel like we're forgetting something, but, you know, we can just uh, move on with it. You've been listening to us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been stuck with us this far, thank if, you. If we thank miss something, so watch another video. We said it on the last one. This has yes. been You Alive. <laughs>